Let's speak about peace and love. Oi, oi, oi. Long time not taking this place to the topic with so much scarcity, fear and uh, war mongering. But today, as Venus is in Leo and doing a Queen Kongs to both Pluto and Neptune, we need to speak about it. Because in this place we are now, August 30th, 2022. In the next summer of the northern side of the world, Venus to retrograde on this place. Without even caring about the aspects it will do and what else in the sky, it's enough to understand that something is calling us from our heart. And I already repeated in the last videos and in the World Weekly Astrology that during the month of September we may remember divine messages, ancestral information that is within us. And it's so important for people to purge as we are Virgo season their environment and life, with the food they eat, with the places they are going, with the information they are exposed, to be able to hear this whisper in your heart. This is why it's a queen conch, it's 150 degrees to Pluto and Neptune. And our heart is very hard to listen. So if you like so much alcohol, please avoid is distracting you and this is not the only thing that is blurring your nervous system. It's so important to find peace and how to find peace within ourselves in crazy timing, how to meditate and meditation. I'm not doing much meditation in the position that people are showing. I can do it by going for a walk in beautiful place or in nature listening to something that is opening my heart, that is allowing me to see beyond, or whatever is, is related to your well-being. Our well-being is the guidance for happiness. Because when you are not in well-being, you are not happy. And happy is not he, 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 he. Happy is not this mood moment that you are happy. Happy is something beyond that you are in well-being, in harmony with your nature, not just with the nature as we consider go out to the nature. Going back to our nature, accepting ourselves. We are going now, growing to the full moon of Pisces in 9-9, September 9th. And we need to embrace our destiny and the things that we don't have control on. Many things we don't have control. We cannot control death. We could not control life or our breath or all what consider to us life. You could not control or choose your sexual orientation. You could not choose your parents. You could not choose your children. Those are parts of nature that we need to accept and to love it because when we accept something it's not bothering anymore in the virgo season we are putting borders we are resisting we are criticizing and we need to purge all those noises and all what is not functioning in our life if it's not functioning throw it away but if it's functioning and you don't like it and it's still good Accept it. Accept your son that is not working, but is good. Accept your daughter. Accept your parents. And let them go their own way. And choose responsibility for yourself. We cannot change the world. I cannot tell people what in astrology, and I said it already many times during the last years, 
what I think about what is happening in the world, what to follow, what not. Now the nature will do it itself. Venus is related to divine justice, is in Leo, divine justice. And with the queen, queen Kongs to Pluto is about accepting death or accepting the end of a process of end of status quo relationship and not just romantic and to prepare our life to connect with what so-called soulmate connection that is vibrating in the same syntony that with the same purpose many things that we consider to be stable right now are going to be missed or just going to be replaced in something different maybe at the beginning it feels like odd or weird but maybe it's it's for the good like many things in evolution that were happening so far and we learn to accept this is a big one to go for the next period the next year in summer 2023 when Venus retrograde in Leo definitely going to touch a lot of economies around the world and right now I'm just reading that the estimation is that four million Americans will be kicked out from their houses as I've just declared you know homelessness it's going to be the debate of 2022 with Jupiter and Neptune in uh, uh, in Pisces and they are going to go back in the end of the year with Mars retrograde in Gemini and uh, we saw already in the first part of the year millions of refugees that fleeing in Europe everybody accepting Ukraine to their borders prices of apartments and accommodation in main cities went parabolically higher we are seeing the collapse of currencies against the dollar right now due to the decision of the Fed but it's not going to sustain the way we trying to hedge on according to the best rules um, strategies um, having money in the bank first of all feels less and less second hmm, feels that you are losing your power and your ownership on it it's going to happen and crypto is not for making dollars is not for making rich it's for breaking free breaking free and I know that many altcoins out there that try to ride on the same uh, white paper sort of uh, of Bitcoin promising the decentralized uh, land world Terra shit coins things but it's all about agreement what we will agree to trade between us even if even as a transition tra transitionary period to go out from <laughs> what we consider to be system that is abusing us with no justice and putting on us laws that that are taking the life force of us and that's what I repeated many times if you are brave enough to maintain your power by going with your own truth and finding the alternatives and to risk 
it's you it's you it feels so lucky you know being a single no children for me it's a good thing i don't know how could i do all what i'm doing having a family and this burden on me it's once first of all it's not part of my destiny i cried for this many times why i'm like this why i'm not but for my well-being and happiness and the distances i could do and the growth i could achieve this is a great gift uh, to be as influencer and uh, we still can be very optimistic for uh, good opportunities to appear uh, even in soulmates connection for this period of the year as we are in uh, 2022 going toward March 2023 with Pluto entering to Aquarius and Mars to end Gemini the destiny will connect us that's what we had now the Uranus North Node conjunction in uh, Taurus just illustrating that right now we are in a pot transition um, ascension and humanity is changing the frequency so in the higher floor in the VIP department we are going to meet each other in the twin souls this is Mars in twins so be optimistic for this we are not going to continue alone that way I was single so far for arriving to those places for being able to move all those patterns and the programming I needed to pass in order to bring what I'm doing now <sighs> it feels very special to end August 2022 we know that no South Node is in Scorpio I was speaking last year a lot about this year about a lot of bankruptcies losses of people investing in corrupting things and losing all of it speculation corruption to unveil now in September Mercury retrograde opposing Jupiter by itself is a lot um, to unveil to remember if you want to learn more of how I'm seeing astrology and taking it to social trends and uh, economy wise to draw markets ahead consider to join to my astrology finance course astro finance course five modules model two is available from tomorrow September 1st it's a honor to finally be able to share to bring this with dedicated people that will give the right value to such information if you want to see the result how I'm doing those predictions just to connect with the live charts to main indices three mains bit crypto and uh, the S&P 500 oil gold this is also linked below yeah you could see what can be reflected in the world even that I'm saying that the end of um, that the markets are not going to reflect much the turmoil to, uh, to happen in the world as it was happening in during COVID you know if you would look in the in the markets during COVID you would think that what prosperity is happening on earth yeah so market is not going to illustrate what is happening in the market but will give us a sense of how the Fed is working maybe and how businesses may operate under those time yeah so wait I leave you with this check the links below and all the best happy September 2022